speaking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the museum in Washington, D.C. Another song by Lindsey Buckingham right there, right? Yeah. Anthony James is on the phone from Homewood Suites and right here in Ocala. And, of course, he is our go-to guy when we have questions about traveling. So I've got a couple for him. Let's say hello to Anthony. Good morning, Anthony. How you doing? Good morning. How are you all? Pretty good. Where are you? At the home at Homewood Suites? I am at Homewood Suites. You know, it's gotten so crazy and busy. Guess what? So, you know, the national championship game was played Monday night uh-huh. in Tampa. Do you know I had almost half of my hotel filled with Clemson fans? They uh-huh. drove <laughs> for two hours here to stay. How were they? Were they? Did they behave? Did they leave the place a mess? What were they like? Oh no, they they were good. Especially since Clemson won, they were good. But <laughs> you could not find a hotel room in Tampa or in Orlando. Oh wow, crazy. that's how many people were there, huh? That's how many people were there. It was so packed. And when people are calling, you know, people people will call hotels like, well, wait a minute, wow, you know, what's going on? You know, I, you know, what's going on? Why is everything so busy and this and that and the other? Well, this is why, you know, you know, some corporate clients want to know what's going on. But, hey, you know, there's certain times you just can't get a room. Yeah, and I, and we're not always aware of what's going on in an area. We might think, oh, Florida should be... It should be a dead time, so we don't need to book in advance. But you forget there's the special events like this. Yes, exactly. You just don't know that they're know that they're happening. So we had a news item this morning. I want to read it to you. JetBlue and Wow Airlines, which I never heard of. Wow Airlines are making domestic and international flights more affordable for now. It says here that until eleven fifty nine tonight. So we only have today. We can get round-trip air tickets on, on JetBlue for $100 to many locations in the United States. And then on the WOW Airlines, they're offering flights from California to Europe for $69. Uh-huh. Yes, they are. Have you ever heard of WOW? I never heard of WOW. You know, I, I started hearing for, hearing about them. Uh, here's the thing about WOW. It's, uh, they, I think they're based in Sweden or or something they're 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 uh not really kind of based here but their founder and ceo is not from here i think he's from iceland or whatnot so what happens is that there's a lot of airlines that just come up but they'll be affiliated with a with a bigger carrier here first and then they branch out to do basically what they'll do is they'll branch out to do the flights that maybe JetBlue can't do so JetBlue they could partner with JetBlue and said hey you know what if you can help promote promote us and help, you know, we you know, book through these, you will get a certain percentage of us being able to piggyback on your jet blue name. But it doesn't say anything about coming back to America. Maybe that's eight thousand dollars. <laughs> and that that could probably be it. You know, that could that could probably be the whole thing out of there. And they are only flying they are only departing right now from Boston, San Francisco, LA. Washington, New York, uh, Miami, and Pittsburgh. Uh, okay. So you've got to go to one of those first before you're able to uh, to go there. So basically, if you live in Miami, okay, and long as you, as long as you're not going to you know Dallas, you can you can fly that airline, okay. So it's just a really all just the. Uh, depends on what they're going to do so like for instance right now if you if you booked a flight from uh i want to say miami because that's always the closest one all right if you book a flight from miami from miami to let's go berlin uh, excuse me amsterdam uh-huh, okay uh-huh. let's say we pick we pick uh the 28th okay from from april 10th through the 28th they're going to give a certain price now the certain the 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 flights they're going to block out you might can fly from there on on friday but you won't be able to fly back until this date because this is the date that we have a plane coming back to the united states oh so that's what it's it's yeah it does say here uh, an astonishing price for the 69 dollars, but it comes with a lot of fine print mm-hmm. so that must be what you're talking that's the fine print you're talking about Right, like uh, for uh, for example, Allegiant Airlines. Allegiant flies out of like Daytona or Sanford or whatnot, and like say you want to fly to Oklahoma City. Well, they might have a flight to Oklahoma. If you fly from Orlando, you can fly there on Wednesday, but you're not going to. You have to come back on the day that they have a flight coming back from that city. Ah, okay. So, so if they fly, 
Right, if they fly there on Wednesdays and Saturdays, you know, you, if you were to fly, fly out that Wednesday, you have to come back on Saturday, or you have to wait until the next flight, which is, might be Tuesday again. How, how about when you book a flight, say, like Alaska, and you want to go to another city in Alaska where the main airlines don't fly, that you, don't fly, that you have to take those, like, four-seater airplanes to? Do you book that through that airline, or do you have to do two separate bookings? No, you can book that. If you, uh, just like if, if I were to fly from... Uh, Okay, let's say we were, I was to fly from Washington, D.C. to Gainesville. Mm-hmm. U.S., uh, I might go through U.S. Air, okay? U.S. Air will take me from, from let's just say, from D.C. to Charlotte or D.C. to Atlanta. I might then hop on another flight from Atlanta to Gainesville, but it might be Canadian Air or American Eagle or some other smaller airline that's already partnered with them to be able to take that flight into a small market. Oh. Oh, So you are always, if you go to usair.com, try to, small cities like Gainesville or, uh, a clear water or uh, even something as like Plattsburgh, New York. They always go through a major airline, but they will always partner with the airline that's going to be a smaller, that has a smaller plane to get you to those markets because where their big planes cannot land or fly. Wait, wait, if, if your plane is late and you don't make it to your cruise ship, well, well, how, do, how does that happen? Does, does the cruise leave without you? What, what, does, what happens? Absolutely. You de- it's just it. That's that's why you always allow yourself plenty of time because you don't know you don't know what's going on in the next city. If you're going from Washington D.C. to Orlando, okay, uh, get on a cruise because you want to take the B line over to to Cape Canaveral and get on a cruise. Right. You you have let's just say you have a 45 minute layover in Atlanta. Well, what happens if your flight doesn't leave, leave on time in in from Washington D.C. Yeah, right, right. You know, or what happens if there's some some weather that happens? Or let's just say this: you might get to Atlanta on time, but what if the flight that's coming to Atlanta to take you to Orlando is late? Mm, yeah, all of the above. Yeah, lots, right. of, lots of things can go wrong. So what do you do? I mean, do you do you then lose your your um, the money you, you invested in that that cruise, or do you take the next one? How does that work? Well, that's why you have trip insurance. Ah, okay. All right, and that's, that's why you have trip insurance. Just, oh my you gosh! Know. We should have guest yep. insurance. We had to get. We had a guest <laughs> who was on a plane. He was supposed mm-hmm. to call in, but then his publicist said he he's landing right now. He'll call as soon as he gets off the plane. I said to Robin, "Oh my gosh, that's going to take forever to get off the plane." Yeah, right. For yeah. sure. But he called sure. in. He called in, but <laughs> it was kind of late. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer traveling by a uh, plane, or are there some moments when you prefer just to uh, um, rent an RV? I rather, I rather. For me, I like driving. So if it's within ten hours, I would say twelve hours, and I have, I'm, I'm not pressed for time. I don't, I don't mind driving because mm-hmm. for me, I can relax. I, I'm at peace. I like life. But if I'm going anything over twelve hours, especially if I'm only going for a short trip, I'm going to fly. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know. Even if I have two weeks to two two weeks off, I I don't necessarily want to drive to California. I'm still going to go ahead and fly that way. I can have more time to do what I want to do. Uh huh. There's a lot of airport stories. I hate to bring up the one from uh, Fort Lauderdale, but I just wanted to hear your thoughts on that one. The guy who was shooting up the people in Fort Lauderdale. I mean that. I mean you must be familiar with that airport, and I I just don't know. Yeah. What do you think went wrong? How is that, How did that guy get that, that gun in there? Well, from what I see, law is as to where the uh, cons- weapons like that are held until you get off the plane. Because you can travel with it. As long as you have a concealed weapon from it, you just can't have it on the plane. But you, I think it's either held in the cockpit or something like that. Oh. Okay, so... So after the flight's over, you're allowed your, your firearm back, back. Well, this guy just, he's got to conceal weapons from it. He just goes into the bathroom, loads it, and does what he does. I mean, this, this oh my can happen. It, these are the laws that we have in place, but these things can happen. It's the first time I've seen it happen like this. Uh, but, yeah, these things can happen. Wait, it's, 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 t- it's, it's tough. Same. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's, it's terrible. 
And uh, that, that, too, brings us back to the cruise ship question, because this couple was landing in Fort Lauderdale. They had to go on to the cruise ship, but their luggage was tied up because it was a crime scene, and they weren't allowed to get any of the luggage. So if they went to the cruise ship, when the luggage was released, would the airline be responsible to deliver the luggage to the ship, like by helicopter or something? No, I don't think they would do that. Um, but what I think what would happen is is that in a, in a national in a tragedy like that, um, I would think that it, that the cruise ship or the cruise or the, even the airline would be like, "Hey, let me take care of this for you." Those are extenuating circumstances. Well, where if you are a company or you are a business, those are the things that you just do just because they're the right thing to do. Uh, so somebody, like, even if they didn't have trip insurance, I would, that cruise line most likely would be like, look, you know, we, have, you right, know, we know what's right. happening, there's devastation, we're going to do this and we're going to take care of you. Same thing for that airline. Yeah, wow. Well, I, I'm hoping 2017 is a, is a travel year for me. I want to travel more. Yeah. I got my feet wet. Oh. Last, last year I got my feet wet a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and I even it's flew JetBlue. I flew on an airplane for the first time in 30 years. <laughs> uh, really? And, yeah. Oh, I, oh you That's know right. that. Yeah. That's right. You probably didn't know it was 30 years, though. Um, <laughs> Homewood Suites. Go to Homewood Suites to our staycation or a place to put your visiting family members because it's a beautiful place. And it's not rooms. It's suites, That's right? That's right. It's beautiful. It is all suites. And all breakfast. suites. And breakfast. And breakfast. And dinner. Breakfast and, and dinner. And, uh, breakfast right. and dinner. Right. And, and a beautiful place to eat it, too. Exactly. I like that, yeah. little, I like that little area. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Anthony. No problem. All right, we'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Confirmation hearings underway for the man President elect Trump wants to head the State Department. Former CEO of Exxon Mobil Rex Tillerson facing tough questions, including on his dealings with Russia. Our NATO allies are right to be alarmed at a resurgent Russia. But it was in the absence of American leadership that this door was left open and unintended signals were sent. Some lawmakers feel Tillerson's ties to Moscow are a problem. The jurors who sentenced Dylan Roof to death for the killings at a Charleston church asking the judge to return to the courtroom for the formal sentencing hearing. Today's final hearing will feature some of the survivors and family of those killed making open statements to the court about how their lives have been impacted by Roof's acts. Fox Radio's Evan Brown and a woman searching for a missing dog shot to death by a Florida man after her family members knocked on the man's front door. Fox News. We report. You decide. Investments in securities involves the risk of loss. The following is a far too common tale of investing in annuities. A successful couple invested a large portion of their savings in annuities, thinking they were a safe way to guarantee a dependable income stream no matter what the market did. But it didn't take long for them to regret their decision. They were locked into low returns, faced potential tax consequences, and that they couldn't get out of their annuities without paying huge penalties. They were stuck, and so was their money. Suddenly, their retirement hopes and dreams were in danger. But it didn't have to happen to them, and it doesn't have to happen to you. You can avoid the annuity trap. Here's one way. Get the free report, Annuity Insights, your guide to better understanding annuities, by calling 1-800-319-0009. Written by Forbes columnist and money manager Ken Fisher's firm, this powerful report could help save you from major financial heartache, and it's offered today for free. If you have an annuity or are considering one, claim your free annuities guide today. Hurry, free copies are limited. Call now, 1-800-319-0009. 1-800-319-0009. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Hey, this is Dan. Let me ask you a few questions. Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in a golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location, 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. 
Next Generation MD is the future of healthcare now. Listen in the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. to learn how the future in PRP treatments are here in our area. Find out the many ways that Dr. Juan Gordan, MD, Charles Brooks, NP, and case manager Mark Shaw have brought the family medicine practice to a new level. Hear from the very people that benefit from the fine work they have done in this field. Next Generation MD, every first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. here on WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370.